Today we are going to discuss an often overlooked feature of open automation software, time on and counts. Let's start by opening the Configure OAS application. I will select Configure Tags from the top menu, and then I will select Localhost from my network node. I could, however, select a remote OAS service if I had one set up there. I will then use the Tags Navigator to navigate to a group I have created for this demo called Time on and Counts. Under that, I have another group called Air Conditioner. And under that, I have two tags. The first one, on, is a simple Boolean tag. Its value is true if the air conditioner is on and it is false if the air conditioner is off. Down here at the bottom, we will see a checkbox for enable time on and counts. I'm going to check it and you will see a group of new fields have become available. The first is daily reset. We can use these two fields to specify a time of day that the daily time, and time on and counts will reset. If I were to put 14 in the first box and 30 in the second box, the values would be reset at 2.30 p.m. every day. If I leave them blank, it will default to 12 a.m. The next two fields are period one and period two. These are two unrelated rolling first in and first out time periods specified in minutes. Both fields are optional if you don't want to use them. For our demo, I'm going to enter 840 in the first field and 600 in the second field. With it set this way, period one will track how many times our air conditioner was turned on and how long in total it ran in the last 840 minutes or 14 hours. Period two will track how many times our air conditioner was turned on and how long in total it ran in the last 600 minutes or 10 hours. This next checkbox allows us to reset time on and counts with a tag. I have created a tag for this purpose. I'm going to check the box and browse to the tag. It's called Reset Time On and Counts. I'm going to select its value and say OK. I have the value set to false and I have the reset value to false checkbox checked for that tag. This way, when I click the button I'm going to wire this tag to, it will set to true on click, reset my values, and then return to false. Note that this is different than the daily reset. The daily reset only resets the tags for the day calculations, but the reset will reset all of the values. All of these parameters are available programmatically as well as properties of the tag, so you can access and configure them from your .NET application. Now that we have our tags all set up, let's apply changes and save our configuration. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our tags in action. For this demo, I have created a simple WF project in Microsoft Blend for Visual Studio. The Open Automation Software website has video tutorials on how to make a visualization like this one. Here I have an air conditioner and a power switch to turn it on and off. It is connected to the Boolean tag that we looked at earlier. Let's run the application and look at it with the configure tags open and watch it in action. As you can see, the air conditioner is currently on and the tag value is set to true. If I were to change this to false in OAS, it would turn the air conditioner off in my visualization. And if I were to press the power button in the visualization, you will see that it, it turns the value to true in OAS. If OAS was connected to a real air conditioner, clicking the power button on our visualization would turn it off or on. And if someone turned the air conditioner on or off, our visualization would reflect it. Let's take a look at the, the values that I have displayed down here on the screen. Period one counts. This is the number of times that the air conditioner has been turned on during period one. 
and period one time on shows the number in minutes that the air conditioner has been on in period one, or the last 840 minutes. Period two shows the same things for period two, except for it's period two, so that's the last 600 minutes. Current time on will show us how long the air conditioner has been on since it was last off. So if I click it off right now, it will reset back to zero. And when I click it back on, it starts counting again. Counts today are the number of times the air conditioner has been on, turned on today. And time on today is the, the time in minutes that the air conditioner has been on today. This, these two values are reset at 12 a.m. according to what we have set in OAS at this time. Total counts is the number of times the air conditioner has been turned on since it was last reset or since it was started, since we started calculating it. And total time on is the time in minutes that it has been on in total since it was last reset or since it started calculating. If I click the reset counts button, it will reset everything back to zero. But before I do that, I'm gonna turn the air conditioner off. So now we'll click the button and you will see that it turns everything back to zero. If I turn the air conditioner back on, it starts recalculating. If we add our air conditioner program to 85 degrees on weekdays while we are at work and 78 degrees in the evenings when we come home, we could use the data logging feature of OAS to log the period one values every weekday at 6 p.m. and the period two values every weekday morning at 8 a.m. This way, we could analyze over time how long the air conditioner ran during each day and how long it ran each night. The Open Automation website outlines these parameters and properties in its knowledge base. If we go to Open Automation Software, under the Support tab in the Knowledge Base, Data Sources, Tags, and Time on and Counts, we will see this page. At the top, it lists all of the properties of the tag, and down at the bottom, it lists the parameters for Time on and Counts. For more information on our products, please visit our website at www.openautomationsoftware.com.